okay now our backend is running successfully now it's time to add some kind of front end so we can do with user interface you can use react js or angular or anything like that but in this video we are going to use vue.js so just go to google and search for vue.js and if you didn't watch my previous video where i show you how to set up a graphql api using node.js server okay uh, here ju i just change my port number 8000 and I am now using this graphical tool on port number 8000 okay this is the website vue.js.org from here just go to view CLI ecosystem view CLI get started and we are going to install vue.js at first just do like this and open your visual studio code I have open my visual studio code terminal ok let's create one more tab on the same folder we are on change directory to client previously we have made this client folder now let's work here actually i already installed view cli if you haven't installed it just run this command if you are using linux or mac os then you have to you have to get the permission of the admin so you have to use sudo before this npms and if you are using windows you just need to run your powershell as administrator or you have to run your command prompt as administrator and install this view cli as well ok it will ask you for password if you are using linux okay it will take some time to install just wait until the process is finished okay you see view cli is installed successfully on my system okay if in your case it is not installed successfully then you what you can do is just you just need to copy the error message and paste it on the google and google will find some website such as stack overflow from from there you can find lots of solution previously answered for the question you asked okay you just need to find the right question and right answer okay so let's use view cli to use it go to vue.js website once again here is the installation of view cli now let's create a project view create hello world we actually created a folder that is client and we are already in that folder so what we can do is actually let me see the version of view okay it's working perfectly that means view cli is installed successfully now let's use it view create dot this dot mean we are inside this client folder and if you want to create a extra folder then you you can name anything in the place of dot but i want to create a whole project inside the folder we have made previously that is client okay generate project in correct di current directory exactly that's what i was talking about yes okay let's select all the features manually i want babel i don't want linter just go to linter by uh, by down arrow key and press space it will deselect okay i want view router okay i don't want any router anymore okay since we are not using it as a long project this is a simple project so i am just making it as simple as possible 
so press enter view 2 or 3 I am going with view 3 in dedicated config folder ok let us go with it no I do not want to save it as preset it will take few minutes or few seconds it depends on your internet connections ok it is installed successfully you see now this is the command you have to run Control shift c for copying anything from linux terminal Control shift v and press tab press enter ok just wait it is starting development server you see compiled successfully in this second ok so let us click on it follow the link control click ok it is working perfectly this is our Vue.js app we are going to get rid of everything and we will create our own app own design everything our own ok